Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again talking about all the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 homebrew news. So I uh, wanted to revisit the presentation that happened on June the 10th from the Flow Zero, which was in regards to his talk where he disclosed some information regarding the PlayStation 4 as well as the PlayStation 5. I wanted to kind of put this video together in a way that it would help everyone kind of understand the landscape with hopefully as much factual information as I can possibly find. Now, I just wanted to begin here yet again, and the reason is because this screenshot and this tweet by Andy back on November the 7th, 2021, is extremely important because this is what we have actually found out how Andy got this debug settings on his PlayStation 5. All of the information has been revealed, and there is exciting things that I believe that's going to happen. Again, originally, the flow said, no plans for disclosure, no ETA. And so fast forward to today, Andy just released the slides about an hour ago to his talk. Obviously, that same screenshot was shown at the very end where he chained that with the kernel exploit to get that debug settings. Thankfully, we have all of the information that we need now in order to do this kernel exploit on a PlayStation 5 4.03. Now, there's a ton of information that's out there, so I wanted to begin by going through a frequently asked questions list that I just have recently put together. So let's do that now. Okay, again, as a refresher here, what happened? Andy, the Flow Zero, disclosed a Blu-ray disc Java Sandbox Escape back on June the 10th at the Hardware I.O. conference. How does this exploit work? So an exploit is burned onto a Blu-ray disc, and it is inserted into the console, and the magic happens. Um, where are the slides at? So the slides are obviously right over here. They were just released right at one hour ago at the time of this recording. So you can obviously come in here and you can take a look at these slides if you would like to. Next up is where is the video? So the video has not been published yet, but it will be over here on this YouTube channel. And Andy has confirmed that it will be on here as well as the organizers from their Twitter account. Where is the disclosure located at? And it is over here on Hacker One. Again, there is five different vulnerabilities that is mentioned the inside of this. And you can obviously come here and you can take a look at what was detailed in each one of those vulnerabilities. But the report is over here on Hacker One. Next up is when was it disclosed? And it was actually disclosed on October the 25th, 2021. Is there a proof of concept? Now, I put no, but let's go ahead and let's swing back over to the Hacker One. And you will see it says proof of concept attached is the exploit chain BD-JB as an ISO file, which demonstrates the exploitation of the vulnerabilities one through four. And it says the provided payload causes a kernel panic by triggering vulnerability five. The file, pawn zero, has been modified to use internal allocation and has a size of four megabytes. And so one thing to keep in mind that this ISO file right here was not disclosed. So we do not have that ISO file in order to just burn it right now to a disk and to be able to go ahead and try it in our PlayStation for PlayStation 5. If you bought a digital-only PlayStation 5, you're 100% out of luck. Uh, this will not work at all without a working Blu-ray drive in your PlayStation 4 or your PlayStation 5. Next up is what comes out of this. So what came out of this was just the user land code execution, which is confirmed right over here in the slides, which says user land code execution 
using a Blu-ray disc. Now, this is where we need to pause and we need to understand what does that mean exactly. So we basically need an entry point exploit that comes through the user land and we need a kernel exploit. So basically two things here. So an entry point, and if you're familiar right now with PlayStation 4, the way that we have an entry point into the kernel exploit is through WebKit. This is then entry level point only or user LUN code execution. We still need a kernel exploit. Now, there's still good news, which I'll get to in just a moment. So the next one here was, don't we already have this now for PlayStation 4 9.00? And the answer to that is absolutely yes. That's how we've been able to play backups. That's how we've been able to do all sorts of things with the PlayStation 4 9.00 but it gets much, much, much more interesting when we talk about the PlayStation 5. Next up is what are the advantages of BD-JB compared to the WebKit exploit? So this was answered directly by the flow, and here is his answers. It works on both the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5, 100% reliable. So you may have had some problems getting the exploits to run through the WebKit, uh, where you may get kernel panics and a few other things like that. This is saying 100% reliable, firmware agnostic here. So again, um, depending on you know which firmware that you're currently running on, you don't have to tailor the exploit towards a certain version. So like um, I have the 6.72 system. You see some exploits that are very much tailored just to that. With this, for example, you wouldn't have to worry about that. It would be firmware agnostic. So there's a bigger kernel attack service and then JIT, which is for PlayStation 4 only. Next up is what did this mean? Works on PS4 9.50 and PS5 less than 5.00. And that came out of the very last slide that was released as shown right here. So let's go back and take a look at that. So in order to break this down, here is what we have. The PlayStation 4 9.00 has both a user LAN and a kernel exploit. The PlayStation 5 4.03 has a kernel exploit, which combined with this user LAN exploit, we should get backups and everything else that we could possibly dream of. Now, this was proven when there was a PlayStation 5 here, and you can see BD, JB, by the flow, escaping the Java sandbox, installing native APIs, they send a notification, and then exploiting kernel in 10S. So at this time, he was more than likely, I feel almost 110% likely, that this is a PlayStation 5 running on 4.03, and it says right here, exploit in the kernel. And then there's the kernel process. And it says kernel read write primitives obtain. And the exploit is successful. So this is very good news if you have a PlayStation 5 on 4.03 because there was already a kernel exploit that the flow was able to take advantage of. Again, remember the two things that we need. We need the user LAN exploit and then the kernel exploit. The user LAN exploit he created, which was the entry point, and then the kernel exploit was already there for him, so he could just take advantage of it. Now, for the PlayStation 4 9.00, again, we already have full rights for the user LAN and the kernel exploit, so there probably isn't going to be a lot that's going to come out of it for at least the PlayStation 4. And then there was this text down here that said, with these vulnerabilities, it is possible to ship pirated games on Blu-ray disc. This is possible even without a kernel exploit as we have JIT capabilities. Now, this text, which was actually found in the HackerOne report right here, again, was text that was originally submitted, you know, back when this became, back when then this was reported. 
He has since clarified on Twitter. It says, without a kernel exploit, you won't be able to run any pirated games, which would have worked on the PS4 only anyways because we don't have enough RAM in the BD-J process, and there are some other constraints. It was only a theoretical impact. So I wouldn't read too deep into this impact right here, especially knowing when it was originally uh, created and then when we've got a very up-to-date information coming back directly from him. So a couple of questions here is, is a full jailbreak coming for the PlayStation 5, 4.03? Absolutely everything is pointing to yes, in my opinion, for this. We saw the image just a few moments ago. In just a second, we were going to go through some of the slides and pull out a few interesting points there. But I would absolutely say that yes, we are about to get something for the PlayStation 5, 4.03. And if you are wondering about some of the other versions and other systems, it says, can we do anything right now with this exploit on this own? So I absolutely think that we will be able to do something uh, with this exploit. As I mentioned in here, I can possibly see some homebrew applications, maybe some other things that may not necessarily require those kernel permissions. But I do believe that we will see something that comes out of it. Next up, if you want to go ahead and you want to buy a Blu-ray burner or a disc, what should you buy? Well, it was recommended in this tweet by the flow to get verbatim, or that's how I pronounce it, and then get some BDRE disc. These are the Blu-ray disc that you can read and write multiple times to. I believe that is mainly in regards to testing and trying different things over and over. Um, so I would probably get a five pack of the Blu-ray RE disc, and then I would probably pick up a verbatim burner. These are around 90 US dollars right now. And then the final question that I had listed on here is, will other hackers turn this into a full exploit? Everything again points to yes, in my opinion, that we will get a full exploit, especially PlayStation 5 4.03. I really see something happening with that. And you will need to have this verbatim burner as well as the BDRE disc in order to take advantage of that, at least on day one, until others potentially start burning whatever files are needed onto a disc and then maybe selling them on eBay or something. <laughs> Okay, and so now I just wanted to go through these slides and pull out a few pieces of information that I thought was interesting here. So I am going to scroll down just a little bit to motivation, and it was how to get the initial entry point on the PlayStation 5. It said here that all public user line exploits on the PS4 were based on WebKit. PS5's AMD CPU ex supports execute-only memory. WebKit exploit was difficult to pull out, to pull off without knowledge of the executable. So the WebKit sandbox also became stricter. So basically, they did not have as much access as they had in the PlayStation 4 9.00. And then some of the syscalls were blocked. So this was just a new attack vector. So USB, DVDs, Blu-rays were some of the things that he tried. So file system, direct kernel attack. So this is what we're currently using now. If you have a USB drive that you uh, plug into your PlayStation 4 in order to get the exploit to run, that some of these were difficult to exploit. And then Blu-ray disc can run Java code which was an interesting attack surface. So this is the reason that he went down the path of Blu-ray Disk. And so it says that Blu-ray Disk Java, or BD-J, they're supported pretty much on all of the current consoles. They're used for advanced content, such as menus and games, and then tools publicly available for compiling and assigning JAR files. JAR files is the compiled Java code. And there's more details over here at blueplay.com. So this is the reason he went down that. With the attack service, with JVM, 
you know, searched for open JDK CVEs or these are vulnerabilities that are out there in the wild. There wasn't a lot of proof of concepts that were available for that. And then for the JNI functions, it says needs a lot of reverse engineering. Java classes uh, did a search for Java privilege escalation bugs and then a small attack service, but obvious what to look for. The Blu-ray setup that was used here was just a BD burner and BDRE, which we talked about just a few moments ago. Here is the verbatim drive that he is using, and then a five pack of the BDREs. So the rest of this goes into the different vulnerabilities or the five vulnerabilities that was located right here on this hacker one page so this was vulnerability one there is the recap slides which we have taken a look at before in result was the user land code execution and again the rest of this information is what we have already discussed and then finally chaining it with a kernel exploit again this being the user land exploit and then he chained it with a kernel exploit that's already known for PS5 4.03. And that is how you get the famous debug settings on a PlayStation 5. Okay, so I hope that this video helped clear things up just a little bit. Um, if anything I said in here is wrong, just let me know. I absolutely am enjoying this time right now. I cannot wait for some sort of full PlayStation 5 4.03 exploit. It looks like that's going to be uh, more than likely what comes out of this, at least in the short term. So thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!